kind of a dream neighborhood. Dream neighborhood, lovely neighborhood to raise family, you know, lots of good people. Community feel, I guess, is what, of it, course. what it has to offer. I love this neighborhood. Right. And I, I do my morning walks or go yeah. up to the river, take pedestrian bridge. And I know you've been living here since ages. Yes. So what made you choose West Gault and especially this neighborhood? Was born and raised in Cambridge okay. and in and in West Gault. Knew of the area, would drive through it from time to time with my parents, right? Just okay. looking at the houses like everybody. Yeah. Really, that's it. I was in school in Toronto, and I think what really got me liking this area was experiencing the urban living in Toronto, coming from a smaller city, yeah. but also coming back to that smaller city and not wanting to give up walkability close to downtown to some cafes, restaurants and then mature neighborhood where you had these beautiful streets. Yeah. So it just Absolutely. kind of, it worked for my life at the time. I didn't want to give that up when I was in my late 20s. Okay. So I met my wife, she was in family medicine and it made sense to locate here because her practice is very close by. Okay. So it all lined up. We knew the school was great for the kids because Highland has always been a top school in Cambridge. So it really all just kind of came together for our family that way. That's, That's how we got so here. So it's, it's kind of a dream neighborhood. Dream neighborhood, lovely neighborhood to raise family, you know, lots of good people. Community feel, I guess, is what, of it, course. what it has to offer. Wow. They've shot movies up here. They did the Queen's Gambit, yeah. Handmaid's Tale. The more the city evolves with our condos here right. and the amenities and the growth, Me it's becoming too. less and less likely that we would make that move. Makes sense, yeah. you know, with buildings like Gaslight District coming in here and in the neighborhood. Yep, you, you in get terms all of, of the this. neighborhood. You know, yep. uh, you close to all the the restaurants, dining, shopping. Yep. Many family and friends they come and they ask, "How did you end up in Cambridge?" When we first came from India, we kind of settled in uh, in Toronto. Okay. We had a two-bedroom condo there, but you spend a lot of time traveling within yeah. Toronto. I work right at uh, Young and Dundas. Okay. My wife, she was listening to uh, you know ad on the radio that there are new homes coming in Cambridge, yep. and we have never heard about Cambridge. For sure. So we thought, okay, we'll take a drive. Yeah. When we came here. 45 minutes. Sometimes it took me one hour, for little sure. more than that, to travel within Toronto. Yes. And I thought 45 minutes on car, it's right on 401. For the budget we have, we could afford the house we want. Since then, Cambridge has grown mm -hmm. so much. And culturally, it has grown so much. Just, just an example, uh, when we moved here, okay. there used to be only one Indian restaurant. Yep. But now they're 20, 25 plus. Amazing. Right. We've been thinking as well, okay, so where to next, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, there have been some places in mind where you want to downsize or retire. But thinking of this, look at the neighborhood around here. Honestly, we have everything, <laughs> what's needed at the prices which are still very, very competitive. Yeah. If we compare it to GTA, very affordable. If you're a first time home buyer, downsizer, yeah. you get the lifestyle, you get the house, you get the affordability. That's right. You get the economy, you get everything here. Mm -hmm.